Welcome to Selenium Java WebDriver Framework Crash Course. In this lesson, I will teach you how to read input from the console using the scanner class in Java. Now let's open the Selenium Java Framework project. So under this package, I create a new class. So right click on the package, choose new, then Java class. For the name field, I type input example so click on the ok button now i add a main program entry so public static void main then string arrays arguments in order to input from the console we need to use a Java class named Scanner. So now I write a comment line. Define a scanner object. Now scanner input name equals new scanner then system dot in so this is how we can define a scanner object scanner variable input name equals new scanner parenthesis system dot in now let's Type a question. System out print ln. Then what is your name? Then we define a string variable for the value from the console input. So string name value equals input name dot next. Please remember that here the input name is a scanner object and we will be typing a name it should be string so this next method returns string so we need to use next now let's write out the answer system out print ln Then your name is plus name value. We concatenate the strings. Or we can use another type of format system out print ln. Then string that format. Your name is percent s then name value. Now let's define another scanner object that returns integer type. 
So define another scanner object. Now let's type a question system out print alien. What is the value of the expression five multiplied by four? Now we need to define a scanner object here. Scanner input value equals new scanner system dot in. Now let's get the value. So integer value equals input value dot. Please remember that depending on the type of your variable, you need to choose. If you enter integer, you need to choose next int. For string, you can use next, next pattern. Now let's choose the next int. Now let's type the answer. System out print ln. Then the value of five multiplied by four is then value. Now let's run this example. So right click on the main method, then choose run input example.main. So on the console, what's your name? Let's type Selenium Master. Now here your name is Selenium. Your name is Selenium. Then what is the value of the expression? 5 multiplied by 4. Let's type 20. So it printed the value of 5 multiply by 4 is 20. So on this output, the first scanner object only took the first string. So let's change this line input name dot next line. So instead of reading just one, let's read the whole line. Now let's run this again. So Selenium Master. Now it printed your name is Selenium Master. Then what is the value of the expression 5 multiplied by 4? Let's do 20. The value of 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. So this is how you can use the scanner object to read the input from the console. This scanner object is very useful when you write program in Java and when you debug your test application. And please remember that scanner object dot next and next line returns different values.
So in order to get the value entered in a line, you need to use next line. If you want to read the string, just use scanner.next. When you enter information from the console, if you enter integer, you need to use next int. And depending on other data type, you can choose next int, next short, radix, and next byte. So this is how you can use the scanner object.